Katrina Link is a Tony Award winner and star of Company, one of Broadway's funniest musicals. But in addition to seeing her on the New York City stage, you can also catch her in one of Netflix's most popular shows. I caught up with Katrina to talk about the return of Broadway and her pivotal role in the hit TV series Ozark. Your greatest threat will always come from the inside, Marty. Never forget that. I almost jumped out of my bed when I saw you on my favorite show ever. So I was very, very excited as I was watching Ozark. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's also my favorite show. I was uh, obsessed, obsessed. Were you watching it before? And how did all yes. that come about? I was a rabid fan. And um, during the apocalypse, there I got a, you know a, a Zoom audition for their final season. And I was like, what? Uh, uh, what? So. You know, it was this weird thing where we're on Zoom auditioning and then I got a call back and I was like, what is happening? And that was also on Zoom. And then I was on some road trip somewhere and I got the call from my um, from my manager that I booked it. And I was like, what? What a different role too for you, right? I mean, that's just like, I feel like Broadway is such a sweet and talent and stage. <laughs> and then this, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> opioids. <laughs> opioids, yeah. And Claire's like, you know, she's like everybody on that show is just is doing like they believe they're doing the best they can in the situations that they're in. So she's really she's really trying. Bone rings, door chimes, in comes company. Let's talk about the revival of Company because that is exciting and uh, that show is just, I don't know, it's just, it gets, it gets so many smiles, you know, it, it really does. It's so thrilling to be back after having taken the, taken the hiatus for two years that we all, you know, that everybody did. So it's, it's definitely a, a, a pinching yourself moment to get to do this show and with this incredible cast and with Patti Lapone, who is just amazing and just there 200% every night and so authentic and still exploring and like examining the scenes and the songs and the entire cast is just consummate professionals and so funny, so funny. And the, sh the show itself is really, you know, embracing the humor that's in the script and the music. So it's really, it's really a lot of fun to do. Really a lot of fun. For people that have not seen Company, what should they know about it and, and why should they go see it? If they need a laugh, it's a great thing to do. <laughs> um, and it, you know, it takes place in Manhattan now. So it's, um, it's, you know, about this mm, successful bachelorette who's having a milestone birthday and kind of gets pushed into the surprise party held by her married friends. Um, so it kind of, it's an exploration of what it's like to live in Manhattan, what it's like to be single, what it's like to be in a relationship, um, commitment, fear of commitment, the need for human connection, how do we get it? And um, it just kind of celebrates all the things about what it is to be alive now. I also think it's very pivotal after a pandemic because the need for human connection, we didn't even realize we needed it, wanted it, cared about it. People are really appreciative of it in a different way. Definitely. And we, we felt that for sure at our first preview that, I mean, we thought it would be exciting, you know, for us and maybe the audience, but it was just that, that feeling of celebration from the audience of like, yay, we're all here and we're sharing this story together in this space together and we're connecting with the audience and with our fellow actors. It was really, um, a really extraordinary moment of realizing that that need for connection and celebrating that connection. We have company. Um, Ozark, are you coming back for the next season too? Well, I mean, obviously you are, right? The next, the next half. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything else you have going on? I'm just reveling and getting to do company right now, and just thrilled, and that that's that's what I'm doing.